rare photo of Abraham Lincoln has been donated to the museum bearing his name. This photo was taken in 1858 in a west central Illinois town where Lincoln had stopped for a campaign rally. The day before, a local shopkeeper had been seriously injured while testing a cannon that was going to be used for the rally. A photograph is supposed to capture a moment in time, but one Civil War photo captured a secret about the future. When scientists used a quantum AI to enhance a faded image of Abraham Lincoln, they expected to see clearer details of the past. Instead, the AI found a coded message secretly stitched into a soldier's coat. The message was a date, April 14th, 1865, the very day of the tragic event at Ford's Theater. Abraham Lincoln's brief time in Council Bluffs has been memorialized with Lincoln Monument Park on Lafayette Avenue. The AI's discovery proved someone knew what was coming, and the photo is the only evidence left behind. The photograph that shouldn't exist. It all started with something you'd probably just walk past at a yard sale, an old, beat-up trunk. Funny when you think about it, how the biggest secrets can hide in the most boring places. Inside this trunk, under a pile of faded letters and old railroad bonds, was a leather photo album. And tucked inside that album was a single photograph sealed in wax paper. It looked like any other print from the Civil War era at first. The photo was given to a team of researchers working with a brand new type of technology, a quantum artificial intelligence nicknamed Kronos. Kronos was designed to do one thing, see what the human eye can't. It processes trillions of data points per second to reconstruct damaged or faded historical artifacts. The team uploaded a high-resolution scan of the photo, expecting the AI to simply clean up some dust and scratches. What happened next, nobody was prepared for. The first results came back in minutes, and the lead technician just stared at the screen, completely speechless. There, in haunting clarity, was Abraham Lincoln. He was standing with his top generals, Ulysses S. Grant and George Meade, supposedly near Appomattox Courthouse. But something was terribly wrong. The image wasn't black and white, it was in full, vibrant color. Not the cheap, hand-painted color you sometimes see in old photos. This was real photographic color. The deep blue of the Union uniforms, the rich brown of the leather boots, even the subtle red tones in Lincoln's skin. It looked like a photo taken yesterday. Get this, the first commercially successful color photography process, the autochrome Lumiere, wasn't invented until 1907. That's over 40 years after this photo was supposedly taken. The team thought it had to be a fake, a modern digital creation. So they had Kronos run a full spectral analysis on the digital file, breaking down the chemical composition from the scan. The AI's report was chilling. The color wasn't a modern addition. It was embedded in the original photo's chemical emulsion. The machine detected organic pigments like beetroot and indigo mixed with silver halide crystals, a process that shouldn't exist. It was a photographic technology that was at least half a century ahead of its time. As the team grappled with this impossibility, Kronos flagged another anomaly. The AI was designed to cross-reference every face with historical databases. Lincoln, Grant, and the other officers were all identified instantly. But the AI placed a bright red box around one figure. Standing just a few feet from Lincoln, slightly behind his shoulder, was a man no one recognized. He wore a simple Union uniform, but with no insignia, no rank, and no medals. His face wasn't in any Civil War database. According to known history, he wasn't there. He shouldn't exist. Yet there he was, staring out from the past. The scientists were looking at a ghost, a ghost captured by an impossible camera. The quantum AI wasn't done. It began enhancing the pixels around this mystery man, sharpening details the human eye would never catch. And that's when the real shock came. 
Kronos detected something on the man's uniform, something so small it was almost invisible. It wasn't a stain or a shadow, it was a pattern, a deliberate set of markings hidden in plain sight. The AI had just found a secret message that would rewrite the end of the Civil War. A face with no name. The lab was buzzing. They had a photo made with impossible technology showing a man who didn't exist. It's a real head scratcher. Who is this mystery figure standing shoulder to shoulder with the most powerful men in the nation? The research team turned Kronos loose, feeding it every piece of data they had. They took the enhanced facial scan of the unknown man and tasked the AI with searching through millions of private records, ancestry databases, and digitized family albums, things far beyond public military archives. For hours, the AI sifted through a century and a half of history. Then it found a match. The AI pulled up a second photo. This one was a grainy black and white picture from the early 1900s, almost 50 years after the Civil War. It showed an older, heavier man standing in front of a barn. But the facial structure, the jawline, the ears, the look in his eyes, it was undeniably the same person. The name attached to this later photo was William Donovan. Here's the kicker. The photo belonged to the Donovan family who had a faint family legend about a great-great-grandfather who served in the Civil War and then vanished. He was listed as missing in action. The family had always assumed he had perished on some forgotten battlefield. The team, armed with a name, had Kronos dive into the official military records. The AI found him in seconds. Private William Donovan, a medic in the 104th New York Infantry. But the record was just a single line. It said he went missing on April 6, 1865. The date sent a chill through the room. The color photograph showing Lincoln and Grant was almost certainly taken around April 9, 1865, the day of General Lee's surrender. If William Donovan officially disappeared on April 6th, how could he possibly be standing next to the president three days later? It didn't make any sense. A man can't be listed as missing and then show up at one of the most important events in American history. It was a paradox. Kronos flagged this contradiction as a historical impossibility. A medic from New York with no notable rank suddenly appears in the president's inner circle after he supposedly vanished from his regiment. There were no transfer orders, no special assignments in his file. Just a dead end. It was as if William Donovan had ceased to exist in one place and reappeared in another with no paper trail to explain how or why. The team realized this wasn't just an accident or a clerical error. You don't just misplace a soldier and have him turn up with the president. Someone had deliberately erased his tracks. His disappearance from the official record wasn't a tragedy of war. It was intentional. He was meant to be forgotten. The AI scanned his uniform again, this time looking for any unit patches or identifying marks. There were none. His uniform was sterile, generic. He was a ghost, designed to move through the world without leaving a trace. But why? Why go to all the trouble of scrubbing a simple medic from the history books? The answer the AI was beginning to uncover was hidden on his coat. The AI had found a clue pointing to a secret network operating directly for Lincoln himself. The President's Ghosts So, William Donovan was a ghost. A man in two places at once, missing from his unit but present with the President. The question was, why? The research team tasked Kronos with a new mission, scan every single digitized Civil War document, letter, and field journal looking for any mention of Donovan or any other off-the-books personnel. We're talking about millions of pages, a task that would take human historians a lifetime. Kronos did it in under an hour. 
The AI flagged a single buried entry in a dusty War Department memo from April of 1865. It was written in a kind of code. The line read, WD moved a shadow post per Al's request, not to be logged. The researchers were stumped until Kronos cross-referenced the initials. WD was William Donovan. And Al? That was a private nickname used by some of Lincoln's closest aides for the president himself, Abraham Lincoln. The room went dead silent. This was the smoking gun. Shadow Post wasn't a physical location, it was a status. Donovan had been pulled from his unit on the president's direct orders and placed into a covert role, completely outside the official military chain of command. He was part of a secret network. Historians had always heard whispers and rumors of Lincoln having his own private intelligence agents near the end of the war, people who reported only to him. But there was never any concrete proof. Until now. The AI wasn't finished. It returned to the original color photograph, running a new deep-level scan on Donovan's uniform. Earlier, the team had seen some strange stitching but couldn't make it out. With the AI's quantum enhancement, the threads became crystal clear. Hidden under the fold of Donovan's collar was a tiny hand-stitched patch. It was so small, no bigger than a thumbnail. The letters on it were P-E-C, Kronos scoured its databases for the acronym. It wasn't an official military unit, it wasn't in any government record. Then the AI started searching private diaries and coded letters from Lincoln staff. PEC stood for Presidential Escort Committee. It was the unofficial name for Lincoln's Secret Sentinels, a small, hand-picked group of men he trusted more than anyone. They weren't generals or politicians, they were ghosts, tasked with being his eyes and ears on the ground, protecting him from threats that the regular army couldn't see. Suddenly, everything about William Donovan made sense. The blank uniform, the erased records, his presence next to Lincoln. He was one of them, a secret guardian. The photo wasn't an accident, it was a snapshot of a hidden world, a secret security detail operating in the most critical days of American history. It was an absolutely mind-blowing revelation, but as Kronos continued to analyze the stitching on his uniform, it found something else. Something much darker. Beneath the PEC badge was another line of text, a stitched message that was a chilling prophecy. The Message in the Wool The discovery of Lincoln's secret network was a game-changer, but what Kronos found next turned this historical mystery into something far more terrifying. The AI focused its quantum scanners on the area of Donovan's uniform just below the hidden PEC badge. There, stitched with thread that was almost the exact same color as the dark wool coat, was another line of text. It was clearly designed never to be seen. The team watched on the main screen as the AI enhanced the image pixel by agonizing pixel. The words slowly came into focus. It was a short, direct message, a command. The stitched text read, target verified, stand until April 14th. The air was sucked out of the room. Every person there knew that date. April 14, 1865 was the night Abraham Lincoln went to Ford's Theater. It was the night of the tragic attack that ended his life. This wasn't just a message, it was a direct reference to a threat against the president. Target verified wasn't language for a simple guard duty. That's operational language. It means a threat was identified and it was real. And William Donovan was assigned to stand watch to be on high alert until that exact date. He knew, or at least his commander did. This small group of secret sentinels, Lincoln's ghost, was aware that something terrible was planned for April 14th. This throws a whole new light on history. The official story is that the plot came as a surprise. But this photo, this stitched message, suggests that at least a small secret circle knew a danger was looming. Donovan wasn't just a bodyguard, he was part of a counter-operation. 
an operation that, for reasons we still don't know, failed. The implications were staggering. Was Donovan silenced before he could act? Was he removed from the picture right before the attack? His official missing date was April 6th, but here he was, clearly alive and on duty around April 9th. The missing report must have been faked, a cover story planted to make him a ghost. It allowed him to operate in the shadows during those final critical days. This single photo changed history, revealing a secret network and a chilling warning. What other truths are hiding in plain sight, just waiting for the right technology to uncover them? Like and subscribe for more mysteries that were never meant to be solved.